story time about how the guy I was dating lied about his age to get with me. Okay, y'all, so today's story is my own. Okay, so boom, this took place on my senior year of high school when I was 17. In my school, everyone had to complete 100 hours of community service to graduate. I ended up doing community service at a daycare that was literally right next to my house. I was working with a lot of kids and they literally all loved me. I got many crazy stories about the time I was working at this daycare, y'all. Sheesh. But anyway, there was this one particular kid who was real quiet but super sweet. The teacher asked me to give him some one-on-one -on -one attention because he was a little behind. Everything went great and I could see he had potential, so my teacher wanted to introduce me to his parents. He told me his mom usually picks him up, so I was like, yeah, okay, cool. Well, a guy ended up picking him up and he looked kind of young, like my age, and he was 6'2", and ooh, height, y'all, that's my weakness. And of course, very handsome. As soon as he looked at me, he gave Gave me a oh you a snack look i was so nervous y'all like for part two part two on how the guy i was dating lied about his age to get with me okay so boom like i said i seen a tall handsome guy walk up and i got a little nervous but whatever i started talking to him about his son and he just smiled the whole time and gave me the look this is how he was looking at me y'all like please if you're not ready for no action don't give me that look so I told him, your son is amazing and he's so sweet. And do you know what this guy told me? He told me, oh, I'm not his dad, I'm big bro. And I believed him. From that day forward, he was always coming to pick up his little brother and we would always like flirt and stuff. Well, one day I was in the playground playing with the kids waiting for all the parents to come pick up their children. I was sitting on a swing just like reading a book and he came and sat next to me. This was the first time we were both kind of alone, like literally no teachers around because I was the only one watching the kids play. And this is the moment he asked me for my number. Y'all, we started talking and texting every night. This is when things got spicy, like for part three. Part three on how the guy I was dating lied about his age to get with me. Okay, so boom, like I said, this was the first time we were finally alone and this is when he asked me for my number. He knew what he was doing. He was playing his cards right, y'all, when I think about it. But anyways, from then on, we started texting and talking every night. This went on for like a good two weeks, y'all. I'm talking about I was sleeping on the phone with this man. Still thinking that that was his little brother. He asked me how old I was, and I told him that I was 17, and then I asked him how old he was. This man told me he was 20. And then he told me that he already knew I was 17 because he asked one of the teachers already, but he wanted to make sure. So y'all, he literally knew the whole time that I was 17. Anyways, the truth was about to set his ass free. He asked me out on a date and I was like, hell yeah. So we planned a date for next Saturday. Well, Wednesday, a couple days before our date, I literally found out everything. Like for part four. Part four on how the guy I was dating lied about his age to get with me. And this story is my own. Okay, so boom, like I said, we had a date planned for Saturday, but Wednesday, the truth was revealed. The teacher was like, damn, Leo's mom hasn't been here in a while. She used to always pick him up, but now I'm always seeing the dad pick him up. I wonder what's going on. And I was like, huh, dad, what, huh? I said, that's not Leo's dad, That that's his brother. And then she looked at me confused and was like, no, that's his father. And I just stared at her like, what? And I said, how old is he? She was like, 32. Y'all, my jaws dropped. He was actually single, though. They were co-parenting. But he started picking up his son more, literally because of me. I had the audacity to call him his little brother. From that day, I blocked him on everything and started hiding from him every time he came. So he thought I didn't work there anymore. He even asked about me. All the teachers had my back. <laughs> Then eventually he stopped coming and the mom started picking up Leo. Thank God I didn't do nothing with him. These guys are weird. 